Hey guys, welcome to Digit and in this video we are going to be looking at the linear voltage regulator. An example would be the LM7805 which is very popular, it's very cheap. A lot of hobby electronics tend to use 7805 because the configuration is very simple. Here's the circuit diagram in front of you. You have the VIN on the left hand side, that is the voltage input. Then you have the control element which is the overall circuit and on the right you have the output. Now there's a simple feedback loop inside the 7805 which takes into account the overall temperature as well as the output so that you can regulate it on and off. If the feedback loop tells it that the voltage is too much, it'll bring it down. If it finds that the voltage is too low, it'll bring it back up. So it's constantly looking at its own output and figuring out what to provide. There's also a thermal cutoff within these things because they tend to get really hot. So if you were to hit or 105 degrees temperature or whatever is the thermal cutoff rated for the 7805 that you're using you'll see that the entire device switches off if it pulls too much load it is going to switch off and you'll have a slight delay before it comes back on the advantages of a linear voltage regulator is that it's a very simple circuit you only need a 10 microfarad capacitor between the input pins as well as the output pins and the filtering is taken care of there are very few parts which means in this particular circuit configuration we only have three and lastly there is negligible noise because there are no coil elements the disadvantage is the ones that we've spoken of uh, it has really poor efficiency which means whatever input you're providing as it is regulating it down to a fixed voltage any spike in the voltage levels on the input terminal leads to a lot of heat generation lastly a linear voltage regulator can only step down it works in buck operation only so that was it thank you for watching